Hey y'all, uh, I thought I'd do a day in the life bit, I guess, here. My host, my host father is in uh, Kansai, I forget if it's Osaka or, or uh, Kyoto, but he's away, so I'm having to fend for myself. Um, it's about noon, <laughs> I woke up like an uh, hour ago, but I haven't actually gotten out of bed, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plan to go to Eon today, which is a Japanese large supermarket chain, get some, uh, brunch, I guess breakfast, lunch, and, um, come home. I'm supposed to eat with friends later today. I'll probably film a little bit of that too. And then I have to go to the campus to work with one of the senseis there. So it's kind of a busy day, but I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride a little bit. Okay, I've got, I'm dressed, got my backpack, my wallet, I'm ready to go. This is the Gangkong. Um, I guess you could, in English it would be something like, uh, I don't know what you would call it. Anyways, this is where we take off our shoes and put on your shoes for the day. Okay, I'm going to open the door. Oh, it's cold. Japan is finally getting colder. It's only... It's, um, the end of October. It's finally getting colder. I gotta lock the door. Hold on. So... It is a beautiful... Beautiful? It's kind of cloudy. It's a nice day. Here in Matsue. And, um, I'm walking to the local Eon. It's really just down the street. We had a, a hurricane or a typhoon, as you call them here in East Asia. We had a typhoon come through two nights ago. And it was pretty crazy. You know, there was some leakage in the roof on the second floor of the house that I live in, but everything's okay. While I'm walking here, I kind of want to do a little advertisement for this new app that I found. Many of you know of Duolingo, and Duolingo is cool, it's okay, and it's not so great, though, when it comes to teaching uh, Eastern, Eastern Asian languages, like Japanese and Korean and Chinese. Why? The, the main reason why is that the writing systems are different. So English and Spanish and French and uh, German, or a little bit German, they all utilize a Roman writing system or a system based on the Roman alphabet. Whereas the East Asian languages don't really do that. They have their own characters and it's and it's a challenge to teach those characters to Westerners who have never really encountered any alphabet system outside of the Roman alphabet system. I found a new um, app. I'm not sure if it's new or not, but I found it recently and I've been using it. And it's called Lingo, Lingo Deer? I think that's what it's called. And Lingo Deer is great. Much better than Duolingo in the fact that it teaches, it's specific to East Asian, Asian languages. Lingo Deer teaches Korean, Chinese, and Japanese. It teaches all three. And it does it fantastically. It designs each learning system based on the language that you're learning. So with Chinese, it teaches the tones and it teaches the characters, the only, you know, the ones that you really need to know. 
and um, it starts right away using the characters. And if you want, you can append the uh, pinion. Pinion. Um, for Korean, it teaches the characters from the beginning, and then you know it goes on to regular lessons. the The important point I haven't tried Japanese though, because I already know Japanese well enough that Lingo Deer can't teach me anything else. And really, Lingo Deer and is is the uh, Duolingo equivalent for the East Asian languages. Duolingo's I've tried Duolingo's Korean and Japanese, and it's it's kind of crappy. It's way too strict and doesn't do a good enough job. It's kind of boring, actually. Lingo Deer has much more exciting activities. Oh, that's a beautiful street. Look at that. Beautiful. Lingo Deer, you can, I mean, I'm, I'm so pleased with the things that you can do to learn the language and the words and the grammar on Lingo Deer. And the great thing is, Lingo Deer separates the lessons from like reviews. So you can review specific vocabulary, you can review phrases and words. It's fantastic. So I highly, highly recommend Lingo Deer if you want to study Korean or Japanese or Chinese instead of Duolingo. Duolingo tries to fit every language into their mold of learning and their mold of teaching and that doesn't really work with Japanese or Korean or Chinese. Even. Maybe it will work Chinese a little bit better but then you've got all the characters that you have to teach and Duolingo doesn't really do a good job of teaching that, you know? Anyways, that's my blurb for Lingo Deer. I just discovered that recently. Uh, here I am at the Eon parking lot. Eon. Don't be confused, there's actually two Eons in Japan. One is a language learning company, uh, like an Eikaiwa. And then one is this big supermarket chain. And there's a lot you can buy here in Eon. あ、なんだっけ。忘れた。多分3倍。あ。うん。3倍だよね。わかんない。多分3倍。でいい。あれ、あれ。It's Halloween. It's <laughs> Halloween. Ah, uh, that's what we want. Food court. The food court. This is Skia, a popular Japanese fast food restaurant. Mr. Donut, also Japanese. <laughs> McDonald's, that's what I want. I used a coupon to get this meal. In addition to, I also got these cinnamon melts. I think these are a limited time right now, so we're gonna see how they taste. I hope they're good. First, Cora. This is an M size French fry. Those were good. Now it's time for this. I forget what I ordered actually. <laughs> I used a coupon. And uh, this Grand Teriyaki Burger. This is a Grand. Oh, it even says it. Grand Teriyaki. Wow. The Teriyaki Burgers in Japan. Japan is famous for their teriyaki burgers actually coming to McDonald's and actually you don't eat hamburgers in Japan with your hands like directly touching the burger 
you grab it like this, and you put that sucker in your mouth. productive lunch. I sat for almost an hour and a half, maybe even more, just eating and surfing Facebook and Instagram. By the way, if you don't have me on Instagram, please follow. I post all the time about my adventures through Japan, usually like nature pictures whenever I go hiking or like exploring a trail. Anyways. I thought I'd give you guys kind of my perspective walking down the street. Um, my sensei actually canceled on me today when I sent her a message in food court. She was like, ah yeah, I'm not feeling well today, let's just postpone until next week. So my day just got a lot freer, yay. I guess I'll study for the JLPT N2. I will take in December. This year it's December 3rd, a Sunday, and I will take it in Tokyo. Of course, I'm not quite sure where exactly in Tokyo I will be taking it, so that'll be an adventure. Oh, Japan, I love your houses. The architecture here is beautiful. So we're back. Just stepped into the gang calm. And uh, that was basically my morning slash afternoon. Just a few hours. Basically, from now on, I'm going to just study for the JLPT, maybe surf the internet, maybe do something else. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> 